I'm here on the debris of a large natural avalanche that happened yesterday underneath Sacagawea Peak in an area called Airplane Bowl. It's east facing, I'm about 8,700 feet. And the weather's not so great, it was soupy. We tried hiking up through the debris um, and up the bed surface, um, but as we were getting towards the crown, uh, slough came down, a little slough avalanche, and so we decided we needed to get out of there. And uh, so we came down here um, where it's a lot safer. The debris, is large. This is about 10 to 12 feet deep, 4 to 500 feet wide because the avalanche was big. The avalanche broke in old snow. It's a hard slab avalanche. It was taking a lot of old snow with it. Um, I'm guessing the crown line was anywhere from 2 to 4 feet deep. We don't know what the trigger was, but the point here is that it was a large avalanche. We have not been seeing avalanches of this size in well over a month. Um, we've been seeing Cornish triggered, human triggered slides, but they're on the order of maybe 100 feet wide, 150 feet. This is significantly bigger, and this is a huge heads up that even with an inch of water, because um, it snowed a little over a foot, we had 0.8 inches of, of snow water in the Bridgers uh, yesterday morning, um, that that little bit of wind was enough to tip the scales and get deeper layers to break. Okay, I'm standing on a slope adjacent to where the avalanche was. Uh, and what we've got is a little over two feet of snow and we were able to find what we believe to be the weak layer, which is this stripe down here. It's a, it's a layer of grapple and also some fastening, some near surface facets. So we were not able to get this to go in our stability tests, but it doesn't really matter because there's an avalanche next to us. So we know this is most likely the weak layer and up higher, I would expect a lot more snow um, than this. The problem with this layer is that we're not finding it on most slopes. This is the first time I've seen it out here. Um, so we can guess that there's many slopes where it doesn't exist, but it means you're going to have to dig and look for it.